Since it was launched in 2005, more and more people around the world turn to YouTube for many different things. While some may use the platform for learning more on a specific subject, others may seek advice and comparison before buying a product or even just a good entertainment for the kids as in the good old television days. It is undeniable that by now a good part of the audience is on the internet rather than traditional TV. But not everything has changed. More audience still means more money flowing to stars. You're about to meet the top 10 richest YouTubers in 2020. Number 10. Vonis Gaming, Evan Fong, Earnings 11.5 Million Evan Fong is known online as Vonis Gaming. Born in 1992 in Canada, he became an internet personality, video game commentator, and music producer. He posts montage-style videos, generally with a group of friends, chatting, laughing, and making jokes over gameplay of many titles, mostly Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, and Minecraft. Aside from this, he produces music under the name Rinks and served as a creative director for the video game Dead Realm and as a voice actor for the YouTube premium series Paranormal Action Squad. Fong graduated from Richmond Hill High School and studied economics in college, but later dropped out in his second year to focus on his YouTube channel as a full-time commitment. His parents were not so sure back then, arguing that being a YouTuber may be profitable, but it is not by any means a traditional career, and there is no guaranteed path to success. However, by 2015, he had surpassed 10 million subscribers, and that same year he announced on Twitter that he had signed with Jetpack, a multi-channel network. Fong's content has earned him two award nominations, including a Shorty Award for Tech and Innovation under the category of Gaming. He is a central figure in the video gaming subculture. Number 9. Dan TDM, Daniel Middleton, Earnings $12 million Daniel Middleton was born on 8th of November 1991 in Aldershot, England. He started a YouTube channel in 2009 dedicated to Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, while at university. In 2012, Middleton created the Diamond Minecart, a gaming channel. In June 2013, when his channel exceeded 100,000 subscribers, he posted a video revealing his face for the first time ever. His online video channel had focused primarily on the popular game Minecraft, but he is much more than just a gamer. He released a graphic novel called Treyaris and the Enchanted in 2016. The novel remained at the number one spot on the New York Times bestseller list for hardcover graphic books for 11 weeks. He also participated in a web series called Dan TDM Creates a Big Scene, starring himself and featuring other social media entertainers and actors. The series premiered on 7th of April 2017 exclusively for YouTube Red. YouTube Subscription Service He also maintains a Minecraft Hardcore series, which is a substantial part of his channel. He streams it live on Twitch and posts an edited version on his YouTube channel. Number 7. Ty Markiplier, Mark Fisbach, Earnings $13 million Mark Fisbach is known online as Markiplier and is an American YouTuber, gamer, commentator, actor, and comedian. Born in 1989 from Honolulu, Hawaii, he began his career in Cincinnati, Ohio, and is currently based in Los Angeles, California. His first channel subject was about sketch comedy and was created in 2012. But YouTube soon banned his AdSense account after he made several videos playing games. He created a new account and moved to Los Angeles to be able to be closer to other resources for his new channel, such as the YouTube space and other content creators. Fisbach is primarily known for his playthroughs of Indian horror games. He has collaborated extensively with other YouTubers and celebrities such as Jack Black and Jimmy Kimmel. He often organizes charity live streams, during which he plays games while campaigning for and collecting donations for various charities. He reached 10 million subscribers in October 2015. Fizzbach signed with William Morris Endeavor in late 2016 after expressing interest in branching out from YouTube content. Since 2017, he has voiced the character 505 in the Cartoon Network series Villainous. In 2018, Markiplier announced the launch of his new fashion brand called Cloak in a joint venture with the Irish YouTuber Jack Septic Eye. As of May 2020, his channel has over 12 billion total video views and over 25 million subscribers. Number 7. Ty PewDiePie Felix Kajelberg Earnings $13 million 
This YouTuber is also a college dropout. After registering his channel in 2010, he primarily posted Let's Play videos of horror and action video games. The channel experienced substantial growth in popularity over the next two years, and he reached 1 million subscribers in July 2012. Kajelberg became the most subscribed YouTuber on 15th of August 2013 and firmly held the title until early 2019. During this period, he made a large number of videos playing Amnesia and is considered to be one of the first and most successful gaming YouTubers. He inspired or influenced almost every other gaming YouTuber. However, his channel's focus gradually changed to his own personality, so his style of content diversified to include vlogs, comedy shorts, formatted shows, and music videos. He was involved in controversy several times for anti-Semitic and racist comments on a few occasions. He was also accused of embracing and publicly spreading white supremacy ideas. He claimed that those comments were in fact jokes taken out of context and publicly apologized on more than one occasion. This behavior led Maker Studios to cut their ties with Kajelberg and Google and drop him from the Google Preferred Advertising Program and cancel the upcoming second season of the Scare PewDiePie on YouTube Red series. According to Forbes, Kajelberg's income dropped in 2017 as a result of the pushback from advertisers. PewDiePie has criticized the media in general for insisting on speaking only about his earnings instead of talking about his content or charity work. He organized a large number of fundraising events for causes as HIV and AIDS, safe water campaigns, World Wildlife Fund, etc. As of the 27th of May 2020, his channel has received over 25 billion views, ranking as the 16th most viewed channel on the platform. Number 6. Preston Preston Arsment Earnings $14 million Preston Blaine Arsment was born in 1994 and is also known as Preston Plays, Preston Games, and TBRN Frags. He is an American YouTuber known for his variety of content, including challenge and prank videos, as well as his Minecraft, Fortnite, and Roblox gaming content. He currently lives in Dallas, Texas, and is married to fellow YouTuber Brianna. He has multiple Q&A videos and vlogs featuring his wife and family on his main channel. He got his start playing Call of Duty and quickly became so popular that he started posting friendly pranks in addition to his gaming content. Outside of YouTube, his biggest money makers are the Minecraft servers he runs for seven figures annually. He reached 100,000 subscribers in August 2012 and his first million in September 2015. Number 5. Jeffree Star Earning $17 Million this YouTuber is also very popular on Twitter and Instagram with millions of followers. Most of his content is about makeup, which is Jeffrey's passion since childhood. Born as a male in California in 1985, he became as androgynous as a teenager. He has worked as a makeup artist, but also as a porn star, runway model, DJ, clothing designer, and pop artist. He has used popular social networking website MySpace to further both his music as well as his fashion design career. During the summer of 2007, Star was advertised as a part of the True Colors Tour, which was sponsored by the LGBT Logo Channel and released its first and only studio album, Beauty Killer, in 2009. The album included songs such as Lollipop Luxury featuring Nicki Minaj after signing for a second record that was never released. Star quitted the music industry after stating that it almost left him bankrupt because of a bad contract signing. In 2014, Star founded his e-commerce makeup brand, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, promoting the brand through videos on YouTube, which led to having 15 million subscribers and over 1.7 billion views as of June 2019. Along with PewDiePie, Star was accused of racism due to derogatory remarks about minorities. He later apologized for the remarks. He has used racial slurs on multiple occasions. Number 4. Rhett and Link Earnings $17.5 million this multi-awarded American comedy duo consists of Rhett McLaughlin and Charles Lincoln, Link Neal. They are known for creating and hosting the YouTube series Good Mythical Morning and are among the first group of internet personalities who tried to transition from the internet into network television. They run a number of YouTube channels including Good Mythical Morning, which has 6.1 billion views and 16.4 million subscribers as of April 2020. 
After being featured on YouTube's homepage and the subsequent release of the Facebook song, their most viewed video for several years, Rhett and Link established a presence on the web. Many large companies have since sponsored the duo's videos, including Alka-Seltzer, McDonald's, Wendy's, and Cadillac, among others. In February 2019, it was revealed that they had acquired the Smosh brand, Smosh, Smosh Games, Smosh Pit, and others. Ian Hecox, the co-founder of Smosh, explained that under the Mythical Entertainment banner, the channel would have full creative freedom and launch its own podcast known as the Smoshcast. In 2009, the duo started to create free, low-budget commercials for small local businesses throughout the U.S. in the web series, I Love Local Commercials. The success of these commercials spurred Rhett and Link to continue creating, and their commercials were featured on CNN, NPR, The New York Times, Forbes, and TMZ. In 2007, they created Rhett and Link Cast for iTunes. In 2013, they launched an audio podcast on iTunes, Spotify, and SoundCloud called Ear Biscuits which airs every Sunday and is described as intimate discussions with each other such as how they became blood brothers, their close encounters with death, and more. Rhett plays guitar and Link plays the recorder and harmonica. They both sing. Rhett and Link perform live musical comedy and have completed two albums. They published a couple of books, too. One of them was described by themselves as a hilarious blend of autobiography, trivia, and advice. This book was officially released in October 2017, and it made it onto the New York Times bestseller list. The other title, The Lost Causes of Bleak Creek, is a thriller novel co-written by Rhett and Link and Lance Rubin, largely based on Rhett and Link's experiences in their hometown in North Carolina. Number 3. Anastasia Radinskaya, Earnings $18 million This Russian-American YouTuber was born in Krasnodar, Russia. Diagnosed with cerebral palsy, her doctors feared she might never be able to speak. Luckily enough, her parents were in good financial situation that allowed them to sell their companies. And then they created the Like Nastya channel on YouTube. At first, it was a toy unboxing channel, but they switched to a channel that showcases visits to amusement parks in different countries. In the first seven months, the family visited six countries and spent around about 1.5 million Russian rubles per month, which were firstly taken from the family's savings, but later on the channel became profitable, benefiting from YouTube's partner program. Then she and her family moved to Boca Raton, Florida. Anastasia's parents signed with the multi-channel network Eula. The videos were created by Anastasia, her two parents, and two video editors. According to Forbes in 2019, Anastasia was one of the world's fastest growing creators, thanks to videos in seven languages, becoming the third highest paid YouTuber in the world. This fast and solid audience growth has been noted by many companies that are offering six figures to sponsor the channel. Number 2. Dude Perfect, Earnings $20 Million This is a multinational sports entertainment conglomerate based in Frisco, Texas. The group consists of former college roommates at Texas A&M University. Their channel is the second most subscribed sports channel on YouTube and the 12th most subscribed channel overall. Their most popular content consists of videos depicting various trick shots and stunts cut together with upbeat music mixed in. The group also regularly uploads videos of battles where the individual members of Dude Perfect compete against one another in a game or contest featuring elements and creative spins on many sports and a unique set of rules. Dude Perfect's videos can be divided into six different types, trick shots, stereotypes, battles, overtime, games with consequences, and bucket list. Their most famous videos are on trick shots. The most viewed trick shot video of Dude Perfect is Water Bottle Trick Shots 2 with over 270 million views. The group received professional endorsements and requests which began with Sacramento Kings player Tyreek Evans in an effort to promote Evans' run for Rookie of the Year. They also work with Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers, NBA star Chris Paul, and many others. In 2011, Dude Perfect launched a homonymous free mobile game for iOS and Android. It was the first of four video games. One of their members, Corey Cotton, authored a book titled Go Big, in which he shares the secret the group has learned along the way, building a business in a world largely influenced by social media. Despite their success, questions arose over the legitimacy of the group's tricks. Experts stated they were unable to find evidence of the tricks being fake. Regarding the doubts, Cody Jones said, 
We love it when people claim it's fake because it makes the shots seem even more ridiculously impossible, and we get more publicity and hits on YouTube, so we love the mystery of knowing whether it's real or fake. As they explained, it takes multiple attempts when filming before successfully converting the final shots. Number 1. Ryan Kaji – Earnings $26 Million Eight-year-old Kaji got his start on the channel when he was just three years old by unboxing toys on camera. He's matured to conducting science experiments and branched out beyond YouTube with a line of more than 100 toys, clothing items, and more, a show on Nickelodeon, and a deal with Hulu. Ryan's World is a children's YouTube channel featuring Ryan Kaji along with his father, mother, and twin sisters. The channel usually releases a new video every day. One of the channel's videos, titled Huge Egg Surprise Toys Challenge, has over 1.9 billion views as of May 2020, making it one of the 60 most viewed videos on YouTube. As of June 2020, the channel has over 25 million subscribers, and its videos have garnered over 30 billion views. The channel is one of the top 100 most subscribed YouTube channels in the United States. Kaji began making YouTube videos in 2015 after watching other toy review channels. Kaji's mother decided to quit her job as a high school chemistry teacher to work on the channel full-time. Before going live on YouTube, the family replaced their real-life surname with the on-screen surname Kaji. In 2017, Kaji's parents signed a deal with Pocket Watch, a startup children's media company. Pocket Watch does the marketing and merchandise for Ryan's YouTube channels. In 2018, the team created an app called Tag with Ryan, an endless runner game targeted towards children for iOS and Android. In 2019, they produced a 20-episode television series for preschoolers titled Ryan's Mystery Playdate. Also, Outright Games released a racing video game titled Race with Ryan, featuring Kaji and characters from Ryan's World brand for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and Microsoft Windows. According to Forbes, Kaji earned $11 million between 2016 and 2017 and was the eighth highest paid YouTuber and in 2018 and 2019 was listed as the highest paid YouTuber, earning $22 million and $26 million respectively from his videos and product line at Walmart. The channel is also offered in other languages like Spanish and Japanese. In 2019, a complaint was filed by Truth in Advertising and the Federal Trade Commission due to its sponsored videos not being properly disclosed, claiming that nearly 90% of Ryan Toys Review videos have included at least one paid product recommendation aimed at preschoolers, a group too young to distinguish between a commercial and a review. Being a YouTuber may seem easy, and it is. Being a millionaire is a different thing. In order to get to the top, you have to consider it is a demanding full-time job, with no guaranteed recipe for success and therefore a high level of uncertainty. But on the other hand, it is quite clear YouTube has come to stay and will continue evolving. It is also clear that this kind of income does not come just from views. You need to have in place a complete business with your own services and merchandise and be ready for diversification. And in every case, the alliances these YouTubers make with large companies is key to their income. Do you think you could carry a YouTuber life too? Let us know in the comments and do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell for upcoming interesting videos.